カトン豪華滅却What is going on, YouTube? Back again with Smite. But this time I got Smite 2 loaded. It dropped. I updated. I'm playing now. Let's get into Le Gods first. I'm probably going to do a god video now, and then I'll post a gameplay video after. Just get a look at the gods. These are the gods that are officially going to be the set ones. Um, between now and beta, I don't know if they're going to add more. Um, I've seen a lot of creators that did get access to the alpha saying like even they're seeing changes from when they just finished playing pre alpha to now when they finally get to actually test the alpha. So, you know, let's let's get into it uh, on her. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just go through each one of them and their abilities. We pretty much already know who they are and what their abilities are, but I know a few of these people got tweaked, so I'll try and shoot through these. Not gonna make this a super long video because everybody else who has this is looking at the same thing, but just a taste for those who aren't spending $100 to play this. Um, on her, it's passive, dealing damage to enemies reduced, physical protection stacks up to two times. That's pretty good. So one of the things to notice is because intelligence is now, you know, magic, but it's not magic, it's intelligence. Um, there are some things that, like, it will depend on how you want to build them literally based on what ability you want to use. Like, assassins is probably going to be a high, any, any high damage output character is, or god, definitely is going to be built on what that ability says like does this ability lean on intelligence or does it lean on strength like that's basically gonna be how people are building so uh, we'll we'll see that as we go forward um the pillar slows increases their damage taken from your basic attacks that scales to 20 percent increased damage could gracious wow yeah that's crazy uh the time doesn't change no matter the level range radius cost goes up to cooldowns 14 slows 15 percent additional slow hmm and peace character slows just slower the color the closer they are to the center okay reactive to destroy the pillar early okay so you can't bring it down our projectile deals physical damage to enemies that's what i'm talking about like you can build intelligence on him, but to do this spear and to hurt them, you know, that's that's where it's aimed at. Um, displace the first god hit and stun them into a wall. Yeah, okay, it's the same. He was displaced in the direction for their mood. Uh, the projector. I'm looking left to read what it says the ability is. I'm looking right just so y'all know to read all the specifics to see what the scaling factor is. Like that goes from 55 to 255. Yeah, damage scaling is 80 freaking percent. Stun duration goes up to a second 25. That's a pretty long time. That's a I need to beads amount of time. I don't know what it was before. I'm not an on her main or anything. I actually just recently started posting videos with him. Um, range same, cooldown, cost, all right. Spurs leap, physical damage and displace enemies. Same thing, scales 55%. Not a bad amount of damage. And the ult. Ult looks beautiful on him, by the way. Probably the best looking ult in the game. Channel to repeatedly fire projectiles dealing physical damage. The final projectile deals a burst of physical damage. You are CC me while channeling. Yep, that didn't change. Fires four projectiles plus the final projectile over 1.5 seconds. The projectiles pass through and damage all enemies. They pass through walls and pass through walls. Did it? Yeah, his ability passed through walls last time. That scaling for the final one is crazy. Per hit's not bad, but that last one's a hundred more. That's finish off. That's a, you may not hit them all, but you need to make sure you hit that last one. All right. Anubis. <clears throat> Scales gain increasing. Lifesteal. That's, see, that's a new thing. Now he gets physical protection and magical protection the lower your health gets he has like built-in bancrofts that's not new he had that already i mean building something like that on him now will mean more because of how you're building him 
Uh, well, I'm not building him because of how the new items are to build him, I mean. Like a tank Anubis, don't do tank Anubis, but a tank Anubis wouldn't be the stupidest thing in the world. All right, back at it. Like a Lotus, channels ability, magical damage repeatedly to enemies in front of you. Um, is it the same? Ability hits 12 times over two and a half seconds. I don't remember it being that many times. I thought it was like six or seven. I did not know it was 12. That may have increased. Yeah, you move at a 35% movement speed. Yeah, we already knew that. Displacement enemies. You are displacement immune. Oh, okay. I'm just, you know, an idiot. Oh, well, channeling, damage per tick, damage scaling per tick, based on intelligence, radius, cone angle. Yeah, okay. Our projectile that deals physical damage and stuns the enemy. That is new. Never used to hurt you to wrap. So now, without your abilities up, if they're close enough and you scale, I mean, it's only 135, but think about that. 135 with, you know, two physical damage or, yeah, physical damage abilities. I mean, um, items, that's, that could finish someone if they're getting away. Because a lot of times we wait for the stun to come up just like at the same time as the abilities so that you can actually get a kill because otherwise you'd stun and just basic and hope to kill that stun might kill them now so you know that's you know if they're close to death repeatedly deal magical damage and slow enemies yeah we already knew that this ability is four times yeah we are at that one two three four i think it was four before as well um damage for ticks the same intelligence scaling yeah the same his ult now is not instant they added an animation to it that's like i'd say a quarter to a half of a second because before you speak you just shooting laser now he like rises up does this little thing and then it shoots out so the rap ult is still gonna be rap ult but i think there will be a half second which sometimes that really freaking matters for especially if it's in a, a god you're rapping with an escape ability or something so you know but anyway um magical damage to enemies in front of you then repeatedly deal magical damage to enemies in the same area we're ceasing in this i'm guessing they mean you can turn that's why they're saying that because that makes it sound like it's aoe and it's not ability hits 24 times plus an additional burst over 2.4 seconds i didn't know about that burst uh you unless the burst is a continuous you are rooted while channeling yeah that would be broken if you weren't same scaling and everything with him Athena! Uh, for each uh, ability activation, your next basic attack becomes projected. Okay, that was already the same. Actually, let's see. 1.5 damage for second stars. This basic attack can crit. I didn't know that. And it procs. Yeah, no, no shit. So, like, it's a basic. It's a, it's a basic attack, if you didn't know. So, like, Polly would proc off that. Um, Polly doesn't exist in this, but you know what I'm saying. Dash forward to deal physical damage to slow enemies for brief time. That's the same. Damage not that high. Actually, damage goes to 10. That's pretty decent. Slow is what screws you. You can't run. Uh, deal magical damage and taunt enemies in front of you. That didn't used to. That didn't used to deal damage. I don't think it did. Taunt enemies are slow for by 50%. I did. I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that has never done damage. Um, create a phalanx of soldiers. That's thing she used to do. When she slams the ground, makes the soldiers, they explode. Uh, this attack between the first and second attacks delayed two seconds. That makes sense because it slams and then it goes off. That is a lot of final damage. Holy krasnots. What the? Yeah. Her combo now? 320. 140? Bruh without anything added that's enough to kill a mage two she dashes on you 210 last time you say she lands basic she hits this it's 210 140 that's 350 then she hits for the initial that's 770 then she hits for that last one that's a thousand ninety damage on one basic kit that's nuts, oh McGee. Now, let's say she does hit that basic, and the basic from this crits. Yeah, no, no, that's. Yeah, if you're a mage, I think I don't know about this one, but I'm smite one. 
you know, your, your health's capping at it like 16 in game. Maybe if you build like Soul Gem or something like that, you can reach like upper 19, maybe 2000, but you're not in the high. If she hits you with two combos, you're dead. You're dead. That's wild. And hey, she may have been that strong before and I just didn't know. Could gravy, that is a crap ton of damage. What the, f okay. Yeah, we all know what it is. Channel, shield, ally. Uh, if your ally dies before you channel complete, you still go to their location. That's new. It didn't used to do that. If you start ulting and they get murdered, you just jump up and hit the freaking ground and waste your roll. That is sick. That is really sick. So you can get into a fight no matter what. If they're one shot and they're backing right, so that's going to kill a lot of people because they got to get used to that coming. Mm -mm -mm. Bonkus. Get drunk. To, to gain increased strength, intelligence, everything. Yeah, that's, that's, he, now he gains literally everything from getting drunk. So just stay drunk with him. Also has additional effects to your abilities. Yeah, that's cool. Smash, also those additional uh, buffs you get on the right for being drunk. Um, let's say you're 100% drunk for all these. Uh, eight strength, 10 intelligence. Look at those protections. Look at those protections. 10% additional protections just from being drunk. That's insane. Um, drunk heals. They added that not that long ago. Gain strength intelligence. Uh, your next basic attack deals additional magic. That's different. He has built in poly now. Um, it doesn't say it doubles. Let me, let me not get crazy, but it does increase now. Empowered basic attack effects last until the target is successfully hit. So when you drink that drink, it doesn't time out. It's until you hit the next thing, you're going to have that waiting for you. Um, cause Polly had a countdown. So, uh, and again, I'm not comparing it. It's just the effects similar damage goes 90 damage. Scaling is nuts. What the heck heal 80 heal. Does it mean 80? We'll have to see how, how health is different in this, but okay. Strength 22 intelligence 30. That's wild. That is wild. Um, belly flop, you know? Yeah, okay, that does the same thing. I was like, wait a second. No, it does the same thing. Enemies are displaced. Yep. 210 in game. That's kind of a lot. Um, channel to deal repeatedly to enemies in front of you. Final hit stuns if you're tipsy or smashed. Um, so make sure you drink something before you're freaking stunned. This ability hits three ticks. Yeah, I think that's the same as last time. Auto 1.5 stun. Plus the final hit over. Oh, it goes with 1.5. Yeah, okay. Damage 65. That's about the same. It doesn't. It isn't meant to kill. It's meant to stun to get the kill. Uh, intoxicated. The smash on the ground. 510. That's fooey. Uh, intoxications four seconds. I think that's the same. Okay. Belagna. She has so much. Oh, I'm not. I may not read all this. Uh, Master of War. She gains. Gain stacking movement speed if you are hit when you hit or are hit by a basic attack. Yeah. Um, so she has like a mini hastened built in. Gain additional effects depending on the basic. It has different things over there of what you gain. You can read that. Uh, shield smash. They move forward. Slows them. Does physical damage. Gain one block stack for each enemy got hit. Chains to sword, sword and shield basic attacks. Absorb all damage from one basic attack per stack. So shield bashes keep using it, get some stacks up. Um, Bologna blocks also reflect back a portion of the blocks damage to enemies around her. I don't think that was in there last time. It's my one. This effect scales off her magical protection. So if she's built beefy, you'll be doing a mini thorns just from her block stacks. Damage 190. Uh, it's not crazy, but again, it's meant to catch up slow and beat ass. Um, whoops. Let's see. Spin to deal. Oh, he does this. This, this the hammer spin and smash. We already know about that. Final slam does that. Um, spin damage, slam damage. And this is, I believe, the hardest hitting basic and has the biggest cone of uh, basic consistent hits. Deal, disarm enemies. The, the whip, we already knew about that too. That doesn't change much either. Her ult, leap forward, stuns enemies that are hit with it. Remain, you gain strength, intelligence, and protections. That's all the same. You're immune while leaping, that's the same. I feel like that 
is a semi high amount of damage but i feel like that crap scales like crazy because i've been killed so many times by that sort of knows damage 25 percent strength okay with each basic attack deal bonus physical damage to enemies in melee range hmm okay shifter of seasons we already knew about this where he switched between his doing self-healing bonus damage uh protection shred or protection shred or slow you can read them on the right this is basically how it used to be in smite one just changed up a little bit in terms of this summer damage is zero but it scales based on your strength Bramble Blast! Fired exploding projectile. The first enemy hit, but the projectile becomes rooted. The explosion deals magical damage. See, this is what I'm talking about. You're used to him being a hunter, physical damage. If you're building to bramble, root, and kill, you want cooldowns, cooldowns, and magical power. You want intelligence because that bramble is going to splatter them, hold them still, and then your bases are going to shred, and then you'll have it up again once they start running away to dash, bramble again. So, I've never seen someone do an ability based certain notes because that's stupid. Now it makes sense. This makes sense to do. So look, the power's a hundred. It ticks. I'm sure as soon as I said that, I was like, hey, he's still stupid to build. If you build cooldowns and attack speed, you will peck them down to death. They can't outrun you because you're going to be dashing. They can't out. If you land the bramble, they, they're rooted each time like best case scenario they have an ult or an ability that gets them away just as quickly as you're chasing or they pop a sprint or a or those types of things in this game i haven't looked at the items yet either so i'll do that on another thing um but yeah so definitely worth uh or at least considering i'm not saying just build this he's still a hunter but now that's an option um uh for i like how the horn animation happens now when he does it i wish they added like a little animation of the abilities here but i guess that's a lot um yeah you just dash hit everybody you can cancel the ability midway if you're quick enough because it's pretty quick dash last but not least you turn everybody into a boar and they're slowed polymorph enemies are silenced disarmed slowed and transformed into what looks like harmless animals 460 is a crap ton of damage and scaling 110% of intelligence. This boy is built for intelligence. Holy crap. Chalk Daddy. After five successful basic attacks, the next ability you activate has lower cooldowns, costs no mana, and heals you. Well, that's ridiculous. What the? So for those who don't know, basic attack Chalk became a thing like most of 2024 and the end of last year not so much but all this year it's been what people do bro if you do that with him now you could build lifestyle for basics lifestyle while you're hitting them on the fifth one cast your heal which will heal you more actually no fuck a heal hammer the ground it costs no mana you're gonna do damage you're gonna get heals from it and then you can cast your heal again because your hammer's on the ground to double slow them Oh, he's going to be an issue. Mm -mm -mm. Throw an axe that deals damage to enemies. The axe remains deployed to empower torrent or rain. That means you dash and spin or you slow them in the circle. Uh, damage is 235. That's not bad, but it scales crazy high with strength and semi high with intelligence. So you could build him either way. Uh, obviously, more towards uh, physical damage. Um, torrent, that's when you whip around. Uh, to enemies around you gain deal physical damage to enemies around you and gain physical protections and magic protections for each enemy you hit that's new if the axe is deployed dash to it and deal damage to enemies that you pass through oh that's new too you used to dash and it just basically takes you away from being able to be targeted hit or anything and then takes you to where the the like if you got neath ulted and you dashed and the neath ult was let's say it moved as fast as you it would just sit on your body while you teleport back and then hit you but now it's saying you are a physical construct that can hurt things i don't know if you can be hurt it doesn't say you can be hurt but you can hurt things that you dash through so if you were to throw it on a wave at the back end and then dash to it you're gonna hit all the people going through the wave and then hit the back of the wave 
Okay, let's see. This dash past the walls. No shit. Um, doing areas. X. Minions protect. Provide one stack. Gods provide two stacks. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, it must be stack of protection. Okay. That they, that they referred to earlier. Max buff stacks is four. Yes, if you have four gods. Um, or minions. You hit two gods, you hit max. If you hit minions, dang, dude, that's gonna be wild. Wild. Golly. Yeah, he's gonna be tough. Rain Dance heals you, slows enemies, reduces attack speed of enemies. Kind of the same. Heals eight seconds. Oh, heals eight times for six seconds. If the axe is deployed, create a rainstorm around the axe as well. That's the same. Enemies in both rainstorms are slowed and debuffed for twice as much. That's the same. Really sucks. That's why you hammer slow. Especially if you're on your fifth basic attack now, because Jesus Christ. And uh, the attack speed's by 25%. That's ridiculous. Storm call, channeling gain, damage mitigation while channeling it. Done that a lot of times to not die. Just ult, just because it gives me that mitigations. Um, you knock them up, you silence them. And it does damage. 110% stack on intelligence. So his ult scales more on intelligence than anything. 445, too. That's insane. That's going to kill so many fucking people. Oh my god. And mitigate 70% of damage late. Seven, you guys, if you shell. If you shell an ult, you basically have a double health bar. Like you have your whole health as a health bar. Because you're mitigating 70% of all the damage. So... That means you're only going to get 30% damage on you. And of that 30% damage, if you shell beforehand or do whatever this game's equivalent is of shell, then, yeah, you're, you're just mitigating it all. Gracious. Also, if you, like, pop to heal or, like, a meds, whatever meds is in this game, while, like, right before you ult, I get that's a lot to do for, like, a whatever channel time ult, but still, crazy. All right, let's check out... Finn Rear, my one of my top three favorite assassins. Finn gains runes on successfully basic attack from activating abilities. If you have five runes, activating each ability will be granted additional effects. We already knew that. Unchained, that's his leap. Leap forward, does physical damage. At five runes, you stun them. Then all five runes are consumed. Gain three runes on each successful hit. If not at five runes, that's always been same hitting me god reduces the cooldown this build about 30 percent that's pretty good scaling's off skills off strength for 85 percent 265 is pretty pretty decent um gain increased strength attack speed and life still and five runes i like gods around you also gain increased life oh that's new does not consume runes if it's not new let me know because i didn't know that gain three runes if not at five runes same as last time Attack speed buff of 55%. It's gotta be the fastest. Gotta be the fastest. I can't even think of... Artemis stem is the only one I could imagine that could come close, but I don't even think hers is 55 freaking percent. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading the wrong thing. I was like, that's the most broken thing in the game. 25% attack speed. That makes a lot more sense. Um, and then 20% life steal. That's pretty crazy too. Three, the brutalize. That's the, you, you follow them when they run away, chain of hits. Uh, grab onto an enemy, deal damage, repeatedly hit the enemy. At five runes, the strength is scaled to increase and all the runes consumed. Gain is the same thing. This ability hits four times over a second. Gain physical protections and magical. So you gain full protections from it. This ability, you can crit with it. Can trigger both ability and basic attack item effects. So it's considered a basic. So if you had, again, Polly's not in the game, but something like Polly, that first hit you land i don't even know because it's an ability i don't even know how that would work i guess one of the three hits is going to do that effect you are displacement immune yeah you can't be knocked back your channel is revealed while you are channeling your target i'm sorry i'm, I'm again retarded your target is revealed while you are channeling i don't know what that means i don't know what that means somebody let me know what that means Scales off strength, increase max strength 65%. That's crazy. Ult, turn to big. What the f? Activate to become immense. You gain increased movement speed, protections. We knew that. Your next basic attack grabs an enemy, 
allowing you to keyword tag, keyword CC hard not back displays and carry them to any position, oops, any position, uh, yeah, that you want before the duration ends. 500 damage on the bite. Even if you know someone's gonna be or CC immune, that will kill them. And it damage, and it scales 100% off strength. That's ridiculous. Movement speed, 75, okay, that's way more movement speed than it used to give you. Way, there's no way you used to get 75% movement speed with that. Cause now you can do that just to chase somebody down. <laughs> That's insane. That's ridiculous. Kooks gain increased intelligence from items that provide maximum mana. So he has like built in Bukthoth, uh, fire a projectile that explodes on the first enemy. The explosion deals and slows enemies in the area. Yep, that's the same. Stops on walls, the same. 285, 85%. Makes about a sense. 40% slow. I always still to this day forget how much it slows me. And I'm like, I don't care if you snoop me, I can take the damage. And then he fucks me up because I'm so slow I can't run away after that slipstream become immune he's slow immune during that I learned that not that long ago because I'm an idiot and gain four stacks of movement speed that gradually fall off over the duration of the effect uh activate this ability while in the whirlwind to dash instead of instead dealing magical damage to slowing it. so if you three the ground and put a tornado down and you go into that and then you activate your slipstream your movement speed buff you will instead dash and hurt anyone you hit and slow them so if you won three so if you won snoot slow three tornado on top of them they're trying to get out you go in it yourself and then you dash and hit them again they're slowed again that's when you want all because jesus uh movement speed buff is applied at four stacks stacks are lost at a, are, are okay lost one at a time so you can do it four times Dash passes through and hits enemy. Dash passes through and hits all enemy types. So, my God, it's like the chalk thing. You're just going through everything, but it does damage to them. That's bananas. That's going to be very crazy. Slow 40%. I wonder if the slow 40% with the dash is the same. It doesn't say here. If it's 30, if it's 40 on 40, it, it doesn't say if it's dax either. So I'm interested to see how that works. Um, create a whirlwind that applies to amount of damage. Time we know that. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Damage over time. Uh, damage over time and slow or refreshed on each hit. Yeah, so each tick you take, because that's if you like step your toe in and step your toe out, that one tick will still slow you. Damage over time hit six times, two and a half seconds. Damage per tick's only 30. That's not a lot. It scales 22 intelligence, still not a lot. I feel like that got reduced a lot. But again, all power skills got reduced, so 30 could be a crap ton for all I know, but that sounds like a little. Spirit of the Nine Winds. Fire a delayed projectile that deals magical damage and displaces enemies hit. That's the giant, you know, dragon that drops down and hits them. Projectile passes through and damages enemy targets and passes through walls. Yeah, his ult, his ult and knocks them up 800 damage is probably the strongest i've seen anybody's gonna have. and it scales 115 on intelligence his ult could definitely potentially one shot a lot of people that is absolutely ridiculous i know there's ults now that do that but that is ridiculous loki hitting him from how to increase damage we already knew that the increased damage from this line also triggers an enemy's blinded by agonizing vision damage around 15 percent the increased damage so check on enemies. Oh, so if you blind them with your thing, then you can get okay. Activate to enter stealth. Gain movement speed. Your next basic attack deals physical damage over time. Um, killing a god immediately refreshes the cooldown of this ability. What? They added a whole. They added an entire item to do that. No one really used it, but they added an entire item that after a kill you go invis. So now they're saying if he invis, if you invis basic, kill them. you get it refresh the cooldown you have back up immediately so you could invis run up oh invis who he's gonna be annoying stealth gods are invisible to enemies unless and there's structure yeah we know that taking damage while stealth partially reveals you for 30 seconds we know that you are whoa taking damage while in stealth partially reveals you but okay yeah no we did know that never mind you are immune to slows while stealth stealth is broken when hit by hearts you see Actually, I don't think I knew that. 
because I feel like if you were envious and got frozen, it wouldn't pull you out of it. Well, it would, but if you're, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I knew that or not. Damage for take 55. Wait, what? Oh, from the basic. I was like, what, who are you damaging? But yeah, okay, 30% increase, okay. Agonizing vision. Deals damage to enemies around it and reduces their damage down. Oh, that's interesting. Enemies hit four times. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess so. This ability hits eight times. Yeah, okay. How about that? Sounds more right. Oh, so if you're hit four times, they're blinded. Okay, I'm just an idiot. Blinded players have their can have their game camera obscured. No shit. The vision impedes enemy characters only. Okay, so you can't blind, you know, buffs. Loki benefits from behind you on blinded enemies from all directions. I figured that. I said that in the behind you. Um, so basically, you don't have to be behind them to deal more damage. You can hit them in the face and still deal that bonus damage. That scales 20%, 23 per tick. But that reduction 2%, 2%, it's not bad. Late game 2% goes a long way. Oh, snap. Yeah, we got to look, look at skins after this real quick. I'm just going to shoot through them. Um, let's see channel to deal damage enemies in front of you that's a slash 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 um hits attack them they didn't put it in there hit that amount of times i think it's one two three four five uh slow is refreshed each hit so you do slow them this ability can benefit from behind you so you get that same bonus damage if you hit them from behind you are displacement immune while casting it yes you can't be knocked back or hit up um damage 27 seems low scales with only 25 percent final hit does 105 that sounds about right in terms of scaling from the normal swipe 75 percent slows 15 percent final hit slow is 30 that's crazy assassinate you teleport to the location stab them in the back deals physical damage and stuns all enemy gods in front of you they gave it a cone yep 105 degrees okay make sure Loki locks onto enemy god. I say that because OG Loki didn't used to do that. It was no cone. It was you land right on them and stab them back. Uh, enemy gods close to the center teleportation area if there is one. Damage 135. Again, these physical numbers sound lower, but they might be high still because actually, I don't know. 135 is pretty crazy. Because uh, uh, Kook's ult was. 800 damage okay that is 800 intelligence or 800 damage this only does 135 but it scales 45 off strength the final hit because you do stab then hit uh it's 185 which again scales off damage i mean scales off strength and that damage scales with yeah you know because you're physical still think of it like physical and magical you know when people were like yeah i have a thousand plus power magical power you couldn't even if you broke like 400 on physical you're ridiculously strong it's the same kind of scale they're just calling it different names think of it that way so that is a lot um neath your abilities can create weaves or detonate them to deal additional damage root enemies okay we knew that detonate weaves to gain a attack speed spec is it detonated? intelligence okay Spirit arrow, you fire a big ass arrow, hits them, it deals damage, and roots enemies. Yep, hitting a weave detonates it. Projectile passes through. Yep, same same as always. Holy crap, that scale off strength is ridiculous. Um, 245. Good gracious. Good gracious. So I may be wrong. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. That Loki ult just may be weaker now. Because 245 it's scaled in the same way. Mm-hmm. Unravel, that's her two. Heal herself. Larger amount when hitting a god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put your weave on the ground from your backflip or something and then do that, yeah. Create, always, always creates a weave in the center of the area. Creates additional weaves for enemy gods hit. So now her weaves can put those down. That I mean, her, I'm sorry. Now her heal, her circle, hitting them creates additional weaves for each enemy god at the locations of each god so if you hit your two it doesn't just heal off enemies you're putting more weaves down to again heal off enemies or blow them up she sounds broken as fuck this video can leap over walls that's new never a thing 
Never a thing. Now if you put your back against the wall and backflip, you're over the wall. That's new. Could God she is ridiculous now. Um, as long as you reach value. Yeah, I know she can't do it out of the map. Does 150, skills of intelligence. Okay, her ult, channels. Can tell luck onto an enemy, projectile, blah, blah, blah. Damage scales linearly, 50% to 100%, based on channel time, meaning if you let that load all the way up when you're crouched. Channel for half a second for minimum damage, as in just ult shoot. Projectile ignores minions, passes through walls. Yeah, it's global. It's global ult. Enemy gods can step in front of this projectile to be hit and step in. Yeah, we knew that. You can cancel this ability anytime. Yeah, we knew that. The costs and cooldowns will not be consumed. Okay, yes, yeah, we. 400 damage, scales on strength. She is broken. Gain stacking increased. Gain stacking increased. Movement speed, strength, and intelligence whenever a god dies. Ah, that's interesting. And stacks, as they said. Leap forward, hit the ground. Does 235 damage. Scales off strength. Plainly said. Raven shout out. Gain a shield health during the end of the direction. It so yeah, you put a shield on you, you leap, you hit the ground, it either explodes then or you wait for it to time out and then it explodes. Deals increase if you're at max HP, that's interesting. Uh, full shield damage increases 15%, shield health goes all the way up to 265, but the shield health can scale based on strength. That's crazy, so if you do all strength, your shield health will go up even more. That's a little broken. Um, channel to deal. Oh, that's his channel. Yep. Channel to deal damage. It slows. It can pass through when it pulses. Reactivate fire projectile. We already knew that. You throw your spear. Um, if reactivated before the final pulse, it grants you attack speed to nearby allies, and the ability will have a 40% reduction cooldown. So you're better off doing it then. Huh. So if you do it before it finished pulsing, you're going to cut that cooldown almost in half. If reactivated, so, but you're not going to stun. So if you reactivate after the final pulse, the projectile stuns. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, do you want it to sit still or do you want it to do damage again and again quicker? Projectile passes through and damages all targets. Stops on first got hit and stops on walls. Yeah, no shit. Pulse damage, 145. That's crazy. Projectile damage, 175. That's pretty decent. Scale 70%. On to the ult. Create a ring. They can't run out of the ring. Prevents them from healing. Decreases their strength and intelligence. That's new. Uh, well, maybe not. I think it did. I think it did scale down power. Enemies who exit the arena. Uh, 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 the person we just did. If she backflips out, then yeah. Physical damage. Oh, they take damage and they're slowed unless they exit through. So unless you beat down a wall and walk through, if you do anything else, box or jump out, something like that, you're going to take some damage from leaving early and you're going to be slowed. Not block ally movement. Yeah, your allies can walk in and out. Oh. The ring is made of eight segments. No shit. Five hits. Dropping it does 260 damage. That's new. Oh, no way. I think that's if you escape. Never mind. I was about to say. Yeah, I think if you escape, you're going to get 260 damage, which scales 110%, which means potentially you could kill somebody from the back. 260 is a lot of damage. And it reduces a quarter of their strength and intelligence. That's crazy. That's nuts. Wow. I love how Ymir looks in this one. Your first ability, Frostbite, causes enemies to take more basic damage from you and deal less damage to you. That's nuts. So if you frostbite them 185 based on strength sweet wow so it incentivizes you to beat the living crap out of them with your fist to cuffs once you freeze them uh ice wall creates an ice wall no shit um the wall impedes all characters creating the wall at your feet displace yourself forward yeah so it skips you displace enemies up and away from the wall hmm that's kind of new Reactivating it destroys well early. We already knew that. Lifetime four and a half seconds. Cooldown range. Glacial strikes to smash the ground thing. Uh, slows them. Applies frostbite on successful hit. Damaging area starts at Ymir. Mo 
damaging area starts at Ymir and moves away over time. Yeah, it waves out. We all know that. Um, you are slowed by 42% during activation. Slowed means he can move with this now. That would be that would be ridiculous. Uh, cause it used to be freeze, hit the ground on them. But if you freeze them just at the now, now no matter what that combo typically works. But still, I think that's a little ridiculous. Uh, 280. That is ridiculous. Six percent intelligence scaling. This is frost breath. Um. Also, wait, that's what they were talking about. Glacial Strike, Frostbite. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, enemies in front of you applies Frostbite on successful hit. You are rooted during the activation. If he could walk and stun, he, my god. Uh, stun does 190, it's a decent amount of damage, scales off that. Shards of Isis is ult. So while channeling it, everybody slowed. Deal a burst of damage at the end of the channel. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Damage scales linearly. 25% to 100% sweep. My god. 150 intelligent. His ult does 1100 damage. Scaling at 150% of intelligence. That ult could break 2Gs easy. That's fucked. my boy if anybody didn't know i have uh like a 16 star zoo 17 star zoo <laughs> um, i think i have like twenty thousand plus kills with him uh overcharge deal damage to apply deal damage to apply charges yeah no shit um enemies take increased basic attack damage from you each time you charge yeah yeah it scales up the more charges you put on them Chain lightning, fire projectile that hits an enemy when it chains nearby enemies. Each enemy to dealt, you should charge. Same. Projectile stops on walls. Same. 280. That's pretty good. 80% scaling. Thunderclap. Thunderclap. Deal magical damage and apply a charge to enemies around you. Oh, okay, because it deals that AoE. Never mind. Okay. Yep. Then gain attack. Yeah, okay, so that's. that's yeah. Sounds about right. Activate to consume all charges on enemies dealing magical damage for the charge and stunning enemies that add max charges. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be ridiculous. Because it's not root, it's stun. So root, you can still use abilities. Stun means you are doomed. And then you get back up. How long is this done for? 0.75 seconds. Just under a second. Brother. What you can do with that much time. You get stunned at full. I know he used to be able to do that like season one. Season two almost. But like I wasn't playing Smite then. I just know from having watched it. This is crazy. This is yes. I cannot. I'm so glad. Oh. Drop a giant circle on the ground full of, of a lightning cloud. Yep. Um, this ability, it's five times. So you potentially could root someone in this by activating it to keep them in there through the rest of it. If you get a good amount of chains on them, ult, it hits them. You three, it roots them in the ult to finish getting ticked. It's five times for 220, so that's like... A thousand, eleven hundred damage. Eleven hundred damage with a fifty-five percent intelligence scaling. So you could probably hit like upper fifteens to sixteens, maybe seventeens with that building potential. If they're hit by all five, that's nuts. I think of a Zeus ult as a secure, not a melt. I mean, you could. If you drop your whole kit on somebody and you manage to land the whole thing, you will kill them. That's not what you want to do. So, I mean, the, the, it's so AOE for his ult, you kind of want to get more than one person. That, unless it's secure, and like I said. Unless they got 1% of health, it goes out so far because it's such a big circle, you drop it and kill them. All right, well, that was all the gods. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through the skins. That one looks great. That one looks uh, sick. That's the recolor. All right. She doesn't have one. Bacchus. 
Oh snap. Black Hippie. And then the cat. Belogna. She got the... Ooh. Mad Max. Her nose. Oh, that's sick. And that's, that's literally my favorite skin he has. Next to the Krampus skin, that's my favorite one he has. Chalk Daddy. Got the sick chalk. Reminds me of Ermac from Mortal Kombat. His absolute best skin, by the way. That, yes, I think it's better than his old, uh, T5. That is nasty. That animation in the back thing is kind of glitching, but... Um, Fenrir. Same old. Coco Khan, same old. Low key. We saw he had this. One of my favorites. I love the weapons. That he, like how he holds the weapons. I can't... I'm trying to spin. It won't spin. And that skin. Oh. Well, Demon has her head's a little big, but... Okay. Reminds me of a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> like... A little bit size scale too much. Night Stalker, that's dope. Odin. Oh man, I was hoping he'd have one. And Ymir has this one from Smite 1. This one from Smite 1. This. This is the one that I am happy for. He had a set of these that came out in Smite 1 that basically you can't even... You had to play Smite when it came out or a couple years after. Anytime after that, all of them got locked up. But this is fucking that. Look, you can see his guts bro the eyes are blinking the absolute best skin probably in smite 2 so far next to my boys t5 because my god that is the best one so thanks for watching i'm gonna hop into a game and i'm gonna post that video after i get done with this uh let's let's hope it's fun like i'm subscribed let me know if anybody wants to see anything specific that didn't get the founders pack i'm gonna gift a founders pack as well so and i can gift it on anything like uh I, I can gift it on steam or xbox or playstation doesn't matter i know how to gift things i have all three of those i play all three of those so i just primarily pay xbox so just let me know um comment on the video um if you made it this far i don't think anybody's gonna make it this far but hey if you do make it this far comment on the video smite two founders pack and you'll be entered if you're the only one that did it you're guaranteed to win so Catch you guys in the flippity flop. Watch my next video. It will be good. We playing Conquest. We getting it in. Peace. Bye bye.